Why yes. Yes, I did forget to take the sweater out of the room before I film a video. And Benji's sleeping. Hey guys, and welcome to the conclusion of a project vlog. Halloween is over. It was this past Sunday and today is Friday. I have wanted to film this video for a few days, but of course, as is life, things get in the way. So, we finished the project. We finished in time. I think the last time I checked in was right before Jax's trunk or treat. I think so. And I did finish the body of the sweater for trunk or treat. So what we did was, oh, I'm not going back in that room now. So what I did was I had the body of the sweater done. It had arms <laughs> attached. It had, I don't remember if I had buttons on it yet. I must have had the buttons done on it already. Um, and it had a hood and the hood came out with a, a bit of a brim for the dinosaur snout, but there were no details on it yet. I just was happy to have gotten the thing assembled uh, enough that he could wear it. So he had fun with that. We wound up putting on his head this little dinosaur, I don't know, hat thing that almost like part of, it looks like it would be part of a costume, but we bought a bunch of them at a consignment sale that he plays with, but it was perfect. It was green, so it matched and it fit right under his hat or underneath his hood, I mean, and uh, held the hood up because I realized that the hood snout got very floppy and was like curling under and, and didn't really stay out straight so I knew that I would need to reinforce that a little bit. So through the week I rushed to get it done for Friday because Friday was Halloween at school and actually what wound up happening was that Jack's I'm trying to remember what day it was now. Tuesday morning super super early in the morning like two o'clock in the morning Jax crawled into our bed and he was definitely feverish. So we kept him home from school on Tuesday and he had a fever all day long. It got really high at one point. Um, we kept him home and because he had a fever during the day, they can't go. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> they can't go back to school until they're fever free for 24 hours without um, Tylenol or Motrin. So, we knew he was gonna stay home on Wednesday, which was fine because I was actually gonna pull him out of school early on Wednesday because he and Benji were supposed to have well visits at the doctor's office and it was our first time going to this new doctor. And so they just changed Jax's visit to a sick visit. They really, they split the kids up and Kyle went with Jax and I went with Benji. So I wasn't in there for a lot of this. Uh, I know they checked his ears. He didn't have an ear infection according to them. Um, but all they really did was, was like, yeah, we'll just swab them for COVID. <laughs> so then that meant we couldn't go back to school until we got a result being negative for uh, the COVID test. And they said it could be 24 to 48 hours. This test happened midday Wednesday. I need to know by Thursday afternoon so I the results so I can send them back to school on Friday for Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. My kid can't miss his first Halloween party at school. So thankfully, it was all good. Um, he did get a negative result. It didn't come until after school had ended on, on Thursday, but we did send him in and I emailed the school and send, had the doctor's office fax everything over. So it was all good. So he did get to go. But in that time, it was nice having him home because I could try the sweater on him frequently and see how things fit and where I should place things. So, Reptar. Um, if you don't know, or if I didn't mention before, Reptar is 
um, the dinosaur from the show Rugrats, which was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Just trying to get this thing situated. He has the sleeves inside out. Um, so Reptar is from that show, and over the summer, Jack's watched Rugrats for a little while. And here is our Reptar. He's got his teeth stick out a little doofusy looking, but he's got his little nose and his teeth. Whoop. He's got red eyes, and Jax did insist that I make the eyelids, which he was like, Mama, you have to make these things. You have to make these things. And he's pulling out his eyelashes. I was like, Reptar does not have eyelashes. I was not making eyelashes. I did want to do the eyebrows. Um, it's really just a green ridge that kind of goes over, but I didn't bother, and he didn't even notice. And then he's got these little, I don't even know. Like, they look like they would be puffs of hair on the cartoon, but... They're like little spines that go all the way down his back. And he has a tail, which I put the tail on with buttons so that it could come off, so that when he's in the car seat, he's a little more comfortable and whatnot. And um, yeah, it fit him, it like just fits him. So I usually try to make things a little big so that they can last a little while, but this one didn't. Um, so then he wore it to school on Friday. It was great. He said he wore it all day inside. I didn't know if he was going to overheat or not because it got really warm for Halloween weekend. Which part of the reason why I like to make sweaters is because it will keep them warm while we're trick-or-treating. But then Friday evening he had soccer practice and he wasn't really listening too well. So I kept using the threat of not going trick-or-treating to get him to calm down. Um, and then on Saturday... He had a soccer game, and after the soccer game, we were planning to go to um, the next town over has a trick-or-treating in the village, and all the businesses hand out Halloween candy. So we, um, we, were, we really wanted to go to that, and he usually does not participate in his soccer games. Um, he'll like run out onto the field, and then he'll come off crying, throwing a fit, not wanting to participate. It all started his very first soccer game. He came running off the field after the first few minutes crying because nobody would give him a turn. Like he just totally does not understand the concept of you just have to go for the ball. He is not a competitive kid. <laughs> he's, he's my child. Definitely not his father's. So he, um, he doesn't usually participate, but this weekend, this past weekend, only him and two other kids showed up for the game. And one boy usually doesn't participate much and um, also throws fits just like Jack's. He doesn't have any interest in playing. Um, so that kid did not participate for the most part, I don't think. And then there was a little girl who I have no idea who she is. I don't remember her from like any other soccer games, but she was there and she played a little bit back and forth. Jack's played the whole game. He played the whole time. I couldn't believe it. He's like not been on the field for more than like 10 minutes. So he did awesome. I don't know if the threat of not going trick-or-treating <laughs> was any factor into it, but he really was doing great. Um, so we uh, we did that and then we went to the village and went trick-or-treating and uh, he and Benji and I walked around all the stores and I wore, I wore my sock monkey sweater that I finished uh, a few months ago it's like giant on me which is kind of a good thing because it's good for layering but the sleeves are just everything so big I might take the sleeves off and rip them out and make them narrower and shorter because they are really just big um, and then I might use that yarn to make pockets I really want pockets on that sweater and then Benji has his sock monkey sweater which was Jax's from Jax's second Halloween. So Benji wore this. He didn't really do too much trick or treating. He seemed a little, he's been a little under the weather with a cold, probably whatever Jax had last week. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> while we were trick or treating in the village, Jax was a little hyped up and fooling around and he tripped and fell like his whole body into a deep puddle. <laughs> So Reptar went for a swim and some other parents, we were on like a side street, so there's not a lot of stores there. There wasn't a lot of people um, to see it, but someone was like, I saw him fall. Is he okay? I was like, he's fine. He was crying, 
but he was more just upset that he was wet and then he had to go pee. So usually he doesn't care about being wet. I think maybe he was just a little overstimulated and getting tired, but uh, usually he's definitely one for jumping in the puddles, which is what he did the rest of the time we were trick or treating, which I don't care, whatever. Go have fun, jump in all the puddles, be soaking wet, just as long as you don't complain about it. But so Reptar was a mess and took a bath in a, a bucket with some soak to get washed. And then I hung it in my boiler room to dry and by morning, even by like midday, Sunday on Halloween, it was not dry yet. So I threw them in the dryer and said, well, it's Red Heart, it's acrylic. Gotta hope it doesn't break or something. So some bits of it, and now he's even worn it more. So the tail is a little, getting a little ratty getting a little fuzzy that's all right it did the job um the other thing i did was reptar has a purple tongue so i took some plastic canvas and i stitched it and tried to shape it in a curved shape but it kind of goes flat sometimes uh and that's in there so yeah on halloween we went trick-or-treating jacks had requested also hands like claws and feet to match so i did get some gloves for him done and I did not get to the feet like I literally woven ends right before we went trick-or-treating so these are disgusting looking because he has been wearing this stuff every day playing in the backyard I even have an end sticking out they're pretty gross but Reptar has three fingers on each hand so Jax has been wearing these and playing in the backyard and I don't know if Reptar's claws are purple, but I had the purple, so I figured we'd, we would go with that. Um, but this is not gonna be the last of this sweater because, like I said, I like to make them sweaters for Halloween because then they can keep wearing them. Like when Jax was little, he wore this sweater for two years, just in the winter, fall, spring, probably not so much in the winter. Um, so I like that they can uh, do that. So Jax really wants to wear his Reptar sweater to school again, but I can't send him to school with this. So, oh, side note, right before we went trick-or-treating, Jax was so excited, he ran the side of the house to the gate. But Reptar, the hood gets a little heavy, so it's either if you put it here, it falls off. And if you put it too far forward, it falls kind of in his face. I don't know if it was in his face or if it was in his face because he was looking down. But he ran full... <laughs> I'm the worst mom ever for laughing about this. He ran full speed into the gate. <laughs> so when we were trick-or-treating, he pretty much completely refused to wear the hood. <laughs> but... Oh my gosh, he's my child. Anyway, so I'm going to take out the plastic canvas. It's just kind of loosely stitched in, almost like basting stitches. I just loosely stitched it in there. I'm going to take off the little nostrils I made and the front four teeth I'm going to rip back so that there's about one tooth's worth of space and then redo the snout, re-sew this on, re-sew two teeth on and probably re-sew this in but set it back because the, be the hood goes to, like this is how deep the hood goes. So I have plenty of room to move this back down and re-stitch it in and then he can have it and the hood will come out to like, well the, the little snout will only come out a little tiny bit and it shouldn't block his vision or be too heavy. And then he can still wear it all winter. I just won't let him wear the tail to school because I don't want it to be a distraction. But yeah, so another Halloween is a success. We, uh, we had a great time. We trick-or-treated. Jax and I, a street two blocks over from, over from us had police barriers put up for three, three blocks of their street. Um, so there were no cars allowed in the, that section. So I heard reports from some of the people that live over there that they went through about 400 to 450 kids trick or treating, which is insane. People came from like all over the place, other towns to come trick or treating here. So um, it was great though. We got to go walk around. I have to worry about the kids getting 
uh, hit by a car or anything. And uh, we walked around with Jax's friend from school. We walked for a little while and then it got to be, I don't know, it might have been around four o'clock and Kyle decided he was gonna come back to the house with Benji. Benji wasn't feeling too great. And um, Jax and I kept going and around, I can't remember if it was around five, so probably somewhere between five and 5.30. We made our way back home. The boys had dinner and um, I think once Benji went to sleep, maybe it wasn't quite that late. But anyway, Jax and I went back out and we went trick or treating again and we didn't come home until probably like seven-ish or after seven. So he had a blast for this is probably the first Halloween that he really gets it. Like last year we went trick or treating, but I think it was still a little confusing for him. This year he got it. Um, oh, and Kyle wore, uh, I think my Triceratops hat from last year. Cause we don't know where Kyle's is. It's lost somewhere on my desk. Um, so he was, we had two dinosaurs and two sock monkeys in our family for trick or treating. So I hope you guys all had a great Halloween too. And now I can get back to working on my test knit that I'm working on for Mina Phillip and try to finish up some socks for Christmas gifts. And I don't know what else. Kyle's requesting a hat and some mittens and I have to make patches for Jax's. Um, jeans and the kids could use some socks and some new sweaters so I have a lot of things to keep me busy over the next few weeks and then December is coming and I think I'm going to try to do vlogmas now as I film this I have yet to edit the first vlogs that I filmed for this project so we'll see if vlogmas actually happens but hey gonna try it and see how it goes so See you guys soon, hopefully, and have a great day. Bye. Hey, Jax, are you ready for your Halloween costume? Yeah. What are you being for Halloween? Raptor. What? Yeah, Raptor. Raptor? Yeah. From what show? Rugrats. From Rugrats? Yeah. Are you ready to try it on? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Get it on so you can see how it fits. What does Reptar say? Uh, he says, I don't know. Does he roar? Ah, yes! <laughs> Turn so I can see it all the way around. Shake your tail. Shake it. That means you shake your hiney. Shake. Yeah. No. <laughs> shake your hiney. Whoa. Thanks for the commentary, Benji. Hey. Do you love it? Yeah. Are you excited to wear it to school today? Yeah. Oh, please don't do that. I gotta fix his teeth are sticking out. I think <laughs> they're sticking out. I can fix them. <laughs> All right. Kick it in the goal, Jax! Run away! <laughs> Jax in that way! <laughs> Wrong way, Jax! Other goal! Other goal! <laughs> Great job, buddy! High five! You're doing so good! Dragons love tacos, right? Right? No spicy salsa for them.
<laughs> yeah, let me see your, your reptar. Shake your tail. No, with your hiney. Shake your hiney. <laughs> Turn around. What does reptar say? Okay, go. 